All right, so let's create your first ChatGPT plugin. Now, this assumes that you have developer privileges now, that you have ChatGPT Plus, there's instructions in the blog post for how to do that. What you'll do is you're gonna be duplicating a Google Sheet, duplicating an application in Replit. We'll combine the two that become a plugin that will install with ChatGPT, and then you'll have your own proprietary ChatGPT plugin that can access your own proprietary sales comm database. So let's get started. <music> So here are the instructions. Again, first step is to register for ChatGPT plugin developer access instructions in the blog post. Second step, we're gonna to head to this Google Sheet template link. Here you'll make a copy of the template sales comp database Google Sheet that I've created for this exercise. You'll arrive here, just change the name of this to something, say my sales comp database. These are placeholder values that over that once we finish with this, you'll replace with your own real sales comps. It's important not to change the fields, meaning the columns, and only replace the values within those columns. That's important or, or you'll break the uh, database tool. We'll head up here to extension apps script. And what you're gonna see here now is the backend code that takes the uh, Google Sheet front end, that database, and turns it into a format that ChatGPT can read. We're gonna need to deploy this. You'll come up here to deploy, new deployment, and you'll go through a process where you'll deploy this. Create some name, my sales comp database. Go ahead and deploy. You're gonna authorize the app. You may reach a point where it asks you to install an unverified app. Just go ahead and do that. Uh, the, the code is clean. Uh, you can read it, it's quite simple. You can always drop it in ChatGPT if you're concerned about it and ask if ChatGPT sees any issue with it. Once you deploy the app script, you'll arrive here to a web app URL. You're just gonna go ahead and copy this, hit done. Now our Google Sheet is set up. Come back to the tutorial, step three, deploy the app script, that's what we just did. Next, we're gonna go to duplicate the Replit application. So there's this link, click that. And now you're gonna be taken to what's called a REPL. Uh, that's in essence an application that I went ahead and built and is just open source. Once you arrive here, upper right hand corner, you'll click fork. Now you'll create an account, or if you already have a REPL account, you'll log in. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Once logged in, you'll arrive back at this REPL. Uh, upper right hand corner, you're gonna see this fork again. Click that, and now we're gonna fork this. Fork it means in essence, we're going to duplicate it and it becomes our own. I'm gonna call this my sales comp database, fork REPL. Next, what you'll see here is the REPL itself. Those are the files, that's the server. And the first box that's gonna pop up is configure missing secret values. So this application has some a secret value that's in essence a code. You're gonna hit this manage secrets. And what it is, it's the Google app script URL. That's that web app URL we copied when we deployed our uh, app script. So you'll just choose this, paste in that app script URL, hit the check mark, our app script URL is done. With that, we're going to run our server. You'll click this and what's going to appear here is a web view. And with the web view, now we have a URL. And we're gonna copy that, pass the HTTP uh, colon two forward slashes, just this portion we're gonna copy in this portion. And we're gonna paste it into, into three places in our application. When we come out here to the far left, we see the files that make up our application. It's really three files. The first is an AI plugin.json file. This is called the manifest. It's what communicates to OpenAI, the nature of this plugin, including its name, its description, some description for the plugin itself. And then you'll see this bracketed placeholder. Enter your Replit URL here. We're gonna replace everything from bracket to bracket with that Repl URL that we just copied. Replace that, we'll do the same here. Now our AI plugin.json file is done. Next we'll move to the openapi.yaml file. Again, here we have from bracket to bracket, we replace it with our REPL URL. I'm gonna go ahead now and stop the server and I'm gonna run it again. Now that it's running, we're gonna come to ChatGPT. 
Now here in ChatGPT, now we have the Google Sheet set up. We have our, our rep letter, our server set up with our application connected with our uh, app script web URL and then the URL for our REPL in the three places in those two files. With that set up, we can come to GPT-4 plugins and then come down and choose plugin store. If we've received chat GPT plugin privileges, you'll have this develop your own plugin button down to the lower right. Click that. Go ahead and paste in our REPL URL and click find manifest file. If we did the previous step correctly, and we did, it will find the plugin, it will validate the manifest manifest file, that's the uh, AI plugin.json file, it will also validate the open API spec, that's the open API.yaml file, those are the two files that it, that it uh, validates. Click next, install for me, continue, install plugin, and now the plug is, in, is installed. We want to make sure that it's checked, and we're going to test it. Uh, poll sales comps for multifamily properties sold, uh, built after 2010 in Atlanta. So we're going to pull some sale comps, multifamily sale comps built after 2010 in Atlanta. We're going to confirm that this is working properly. You can check the query by opening this up. You'll see it queries property type multifamily, Metro Atlanta, year built after or greater than 2010, and it pulls or and finds three properties, and then it outputs data around those properties. So our, our plugin is now working properly. Congratulations. Last step is to return to your Google Sheet. This is the My Sales Comp database. Let's make sure first by clicking the share and ensuring that it is restricted to only me. And then anyone else I want to share it with, that's good. That means this is now private. And then I will just simply delete this di information, delete that data, and replace it with my own. My property number one, say a property type, say a metro, submarket. This would be year built, 2011, GLA, let's say uh, 100,000. Price, let's say 25 million. Price per foot, cap rate, let's say six, sale date, let's say July of 2023. That's the only property we have in there, but now we can return to ChatGPT and say, pull sales comps in Los Angeles. And it should find that one comp, my property number one office in Los Angeles, looks for Los Angeles, finds the one property, my property number one, and our sales comp database ChatGPT plugin is working properly. So you built your first ChatGPT plugin, congratulations. Play around with it, use it, uh, wow your coworkers hopefully, and uh, we'll talk to you on the next one.